Greetings and good afternoon and welcome to I Am Sure Sports. I'm Omar Stennett and this is your quick uh, CPL uh, score update. And what we're going to do on this show is share with you the results of Tuesday's game and the result of Wednesday's game. That is the first game that is played on a Wednesday that was completed earlier this afternoon. All right, I have some good, good performances. Yesterday, we had two games. Uh, we had the Trin... Well, uh, we had the Trinbago uh, Knight Riders. They played against the St. Lucia Kings. A very... Uh, I wouldn't say exciting game. Uh, I would say uh, pretty ordinary. Um, the Trinbago Knight Riders, they batted first and they made 158 for 7 of their 20 overs. Uh, Keswick William was the best bowler for the St. Lucia Kings. He took 4 for 24 from his 4 overs and Pollard, the captain of the Trinbago Knight Riders, he had 41 runs from 29 deliveries. Um, very good batting right there. They had a run rate of 7.9. In, in response to that score, so the St. Lucia Kings seeking to score 159 to win the game, they, they could only muster up 131 runs in their 20 overs at a run rate of 6.65. Andre Fletcher was their top scorer. He scored 88 from 55 deliveries. Very, very, very um, good batting right there, but he alone could not have done it. Um, Ravi Rampal was the best bowler for the Trinbago Knight Riders. He took three for 34. So those were the, the, the that, that was the, um, that was the, the, the first game um, yesterday, that's Tuesday, right? The second game was the Royals, the Barbados Royals. Um, they were the Barbados Pride that changed the name to the Royals versus the Jamaica Talawas. And Barbados Royals batting first. Of their 20 overs, they made 151 for 8, right? Uh, scoring at 7.55 runs per over. Azam Khan scored 50 runs of 30 delivery with the South African um, Pretorius um, getting 4 for 45 from his 4 overs for the Talawas. The Talawas in response needing 151 to win scored 155 of 17.4 overs. Uh, they scored at 8.77 runs per over to achieve um, the total with Kennard Lewis um, scoring 89 of 53 delivery. Ravman Powell uh, didn't do too much again. Hadir Ali also failed with the bat. Andre Russell came in at the back end. Shamar Brooks played a next very, very um, good inning, a good partnership between uh, uh, Brooks and Kennard Lewis who opened. Chadwick Walton uh, didn't, didn't do well up there in the top order as well. But good going for the Talawas. This is their second win in three games. All right. So let's come to today, Wednesday. The results of the first, the result of the first game that was played earlier this morning. Um, it, it started at 10, uh, 10 o'clock Jamaican time in the morning and in Eastern Caribbean at 9 a.m. That was the Trinbago Knight Riders playing against the, 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 the Guyana Amazon Warriors. This must be the game of the tournament so far. Uh, here, here is what happened. So Trinbago Knight Riders batting first made 138 of their uh, 20 overs scoring at 6.9 runs per over. Right, Colin Monroe uh, scored 32 from 28 and then we had uh, three wickets for Shepard of the um, the Guyana Amazon Warriors he took three for 24 and Hafiz also took three for 18 um, good bowling to restrict the Trinbago Knight Riders to only 138 in fact the, 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 their feeling the Guyana Amazon Warriors the feeling was so poor 
um, the Trinbago Knight Riders, I think, should not have scored more than 20. But Sonny Narayan and a couple other batsmen had some chances, several uh, misfield and, and stuff, and that um, affected them. But Guyana um, Amazon Warriors, in response, they, they made 138 in their 20 overs. Yes, um, Ravi Rampal. Um, taking four for 29. So what that meant is that there was a super over. A super over. First super over in the CPL T20. If you have not, you need to watch the replay of this game. Great, 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 great action. Akil Hussein took a brilliant catch. I think the catch of the CPL so far. But, but here's what happened. So the, the Amazon Warriors made eight runs in their, oh, in, in their super over. The Trinbago Knight Riders people could not make eight runs in six deliveries. And so the, the Guyana Amazon Warriors won that. Shepard again, who was the man of the match, bowled a brilliant super over to lead the Guyana Amazon Warriors to the victory in this one. So that makes the, the table very interesting in terms of what is happening um, the, the, the Trinbago Knight Riders, they have completed all their first round fixtures. Yes, they have completed all their first round fixtures. It, they have played five games. Five games. They have played and only have four points. They are tied on four points with the Jamaica Talawas and the Guyana Amazon Warriors. All three, but they have played five games uh guyana has played four games for their four points and the jamaica talawas they have played three games for their four points in fact tonight seven o'clock jamaica time 6 p.m eastern caribbean time there will be the top of the table clash which is st kitts and the nevis patriots will be up against the jamaica talawas if the talawas win this they will go to the top of the table yes and this is going to be a big game because Hopefully Chris Gale is back from injury and he will be in this game. And you have Dwayne Bravo, you have Sheldon Cottrell, you have Fabian Allen, um, that, that, you have Evan Lewis. Good game. And on the, on the, on the Talawas team, you have Ravman Powell, you have Carlos Bratwit, you have Andre Russell, Chadwick Wal Walton. Then you have um, Fidel Edwards, um, Versami Permal. Um, so, um, exciting, exciting game. Steve Green. I think very, very good game. I'm looking forward to this game this evening. So, interesting time in the CPL. And we just do this video for all our cricketing fans out there. Uh, some of you, you're not able to watch the game. And we want, to, we want to keep you up to date with what is happening in the CPL. Listen, um, if you're watching this video right now, Join, join the gang. Be a part of what we are doing by hitting the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video. Listen, it's okay if you don't like the content, but let us know what aspect of I Am Sure Sports you don't like. If you put that in the comment section, we will read it, and where necessary, we'll make the changes so that we can give you the best product possible. Again, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your evening. This is Madden's Man for I Am Sure Sports. And that was your CPL. CPL update show. Stay blessed, my cricketing fans. I know you're watching and you're waiting for your cricketing update. Tomorrow, we'll have a next one for you. Cricket, cricket, cricket. Lovely cricket. Stay safe. Wear your mask, sanitize, and social distance. Don't be concerned about just your own interests, but the interests of others. Big up all the nurses, the doctors, the porters, the mor morgue operators, all the staff in all the hospitals, both private and public. Big up the security forces for all the work they are doing in the midst of this pandemic. Stay safe, people. I want to see you on my next episode, on my next show. 
I'm staying safe. So you stay safe as well. I am sure the Talawas are going to beat the St. Kitts and the Nevis Patriots tonight. No doubt.